Hey guys, what is up everybody? I am back again with the Brick Angeles Fire Department. This is the Priority Milkshake, or Sean J. And I am back with the final brand new update on the fire, depart fire station. I have finally um, reworked the entire station. I tore it down and rebuilt it into this amazing beauty. There's the side for the bays, all the bay works, for the engines, and of course, as you can see, there are some new changes for the rigs, but we'll get into that in a minute. And there's also a brand new rig, but like I said, we'll get into that in a minute. I'll start off with the inside of the station and the front door, which is right there. The new front port lawn area, this is going to be where the parking space will be. I'm going to add on some more plates and stuff over here. I added in my 9-11 memorial. And then on the inside, we've got brand new stuff. Got our new counter systems, all colored correctly now. The only thing that's a little off is that I changed the stove up so it would be a little bit more realistic. It's a uh, flat top now. So it's got that. It does have a little oven in there. If you can see when the firefighters was cooking. Changed up the TV. Made it completely um, black now and a little better realism in it. A lot of the firefighters in there eating, sitting on the couch, just chilling for a while. Um, this area is going to be the bunk room and then I'm going to make a... Uh, bathroom in the bunk room, which is probably going to be in this little corner area. But, aside from that, we now have some new rig updates. First of all, I wanted to bring out engine 1-2, our squad one. I don't know exactly what to call it yet. I am going to keep it. I have finally, I have finalized, design, finalized, bleh. Sorry. Finalized my decision on keeping this at station one. It is going to be an acting active rig. I um, redid the cabinets. I'm actually going to make some more roll up doors for them. But the uh, big difference is now the front. Now, the original design was done by um, South Brick Falls Fire, which I used his design and I gave him credit for it, but I changed it up a lot. The front of it, I love the look of the front of it. Instead of taking the circle bricks, I took um, one by one uh, translucent white, or transparent white bricks. And I set them on there, and I looked at the front of that, and I did like a comparison photo f with the other engines that I saw. Um, this particular one, I redid design the design to match... Uh, one of the engines from Vegas, um, from the Vegas Strip, the Clark County Fire Department. But uh, I did add a bumper queue, I extended the bumper, um, I changed it to have um, bulkier LED lighting, so it has both rotators and LEDs in it. I also saw those in the Vegas Strip area. Haven't been there, but I saw them all over YouTube and I thought those tri rigs looked so cool. And I love the look of those quantums. And I mean, I tried to reinvent it the best way I could in my video, in my design. So that is the squad engine. Engine 1 itself, the 2013 Pierce Velocity, has changed a lot as well. As you can see, it has one solid light bar now, multicolored red white and blue design since I don't have any of the flat tile one by ones in all of those colors I decided to just go with the studded ones and I thought it made it look kinda cool from the front angle uh, it now has a utility box on the front um, does have a bumper queue now I changed it up I moved this one's queue siren to the squad one I did also want to ask if somebody could um, show me a tutorial video or send me a link to one on how to do the uh, quantum uh, steps.
because I do want to add those on this engine. I just, um, I don't know how to do it. Because the other ones I did end up doing this. I shortened the pump up. I shortened the pump panel up to make it look more realistic now. It, um, came out beautifully in my opinion. I changed the side which the actual pump is on. So in here we've got our tools. And, um, this is the side that used to have the pump controls. We got our tools, air packs, and um, on this side we now have the pump panel and controls, which is normally on the driver's side. And when I first designed this, I had no idea that's where it was supposed to be. Added new lights next to the pump panel system. Um, I'm probably not going to put lights here. I will try to do the um, <coughs> uh, air tank storage over the uh, axle. Um, we got a special uh, hose bed on the side here. I uh, got a big hose bed on the rear. This is the final design for um, engine one. It's probably just going to stay like this. I'll do a few tweaks here and there when I get some more pieces. Like I'm going to flatten this LED bar out and all the other LEDs on it. Um, but yeah, this is the basic design now. It's got a roll up door on the back and is acting as a rescue engine so it's going to have the um, foam and hazardous hazmat material I actually do have um, hang on a sec here I have the st design statistics over here for it for all of my rigs except for the medic because I don't know what I'm going to do with it so our first one is rescue one and slash engine one which is a 2012 Pierce Velocity puck um, it's got a 700 gallon tank water tank 50 gallon foam on a puck chassis husky foam pump 1500 GPM pump single stage so that's the basic loadout readout for engine slash rescue one I don't know if I'm, what I'm gonna do with these um, this one's probably gonna be rescue one I'm also working on uh, station three now. This is the main downtown station. I'm probably gonna find a way to add another bay and extend it one, so that way they got some more space in there. But the new medic, which is right here, is a. Um, I wanted to go with a Chevy um, Colorado front and on a rescue EMS box. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I might switch this rig, this particular medic, to Station 3. And I'll go back to the um, International or the uh, Kenworth for Station 1. But it does have um, air tank storage on the sides. It does have a removable roof. I still need to finish the interior up a little bit. But um, that's that. It's got a clear LED bar. Uh, it's got a um, red and blue LED, lots of lighting, scene lighting. The rear has a new arrow stick, LED arrow stick. Does have a, a bumper cue and a uh, EQ2B and a Wayland. The new battalion chief. I uh, just extended the rear a little bit, changed it up, gave it a few new decals. I will be um getting some Brick Angeles decals and stuff like that pretty soon um, yeah I'll get those set up soon I don't know exactly when but they will be soon oh yeah back there got the uh, Bronze Clark County Volunteer Department the Truck 42, Engine 42 and Wrecker 42 but um yeah those ones haven't changed much. I did change up the truck again, too. I completely redid the rear of this. It's based off of um, Zach Overmeyer's design for his American flag truck, which I think is his uh, West Brick, which? West Brick Fire Department? I don't know for sure. But I got the design off of mock pages. I loved the look of it and I thought it would suit the truck a lot, so I went with it. Uh, this one is a hold on. 2012 Pierce Velocity uh, PUC 75 75 foot 
HAL single axle 75 foot aluminum ladder, Husky foam system, and a 1500 GPM pump. I am going to try to change up the ladder a little bit, kind of make it look a little more realistic, but um, it's got plenty of storage on it, cabinet goes all the way through, uh, let's have the pump panel hose bed here, and there's also an, a second hose bed that goes alongside the ladder, six man cab, bumper Q siren, and it does have the steps to get to the cab. I actually did see that um, there are other departments that are using the um, quantum steps on other Pierce engines. Now, I don't know if that's like a normal thing or if that can be done, but if it is, I'm going to try to get all of these engines, all of these rigs, to have those fold-out steps, the auto fold-out steps. Then the last thing about the station that I should add in is the Chief's office. There will be some more stuff, but this is like the main entrance. You enter here, and Chief's office is here, and then you get into the station. There's a door to the bays. Got engine 101. The uh, Dodge brush truck. And then we got um, brush, or engine 6102 in the very back here, which, uh, which belongs to the Bronze Clark County. Um, volunteer fire rescue service but yeah I just wanted to get a this update in I've been needing to for a while now I haven't had a phone though and I don't have a very good camera but my mom bless her heart is letting me use her tablet till I get my phone so uh, I'll be able to do that um, I'll do um, a more in-depth review of the station when it's like completely done but I did need to get the new update out um, I will get Station 3 working on. I'll give you guys an update on the engines and stuff, and there will be more fire response videos once I get my phone. So, um, I don't know how long that's going to be, so this might be uh, the last video for a while, but I did want to update you guys and keep you informed on the station's whereabouts and updates. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, give me some feedback, give me some new ideas, what you think I should add to the rigs, what I should designate these two as, um, and do give me that uh, tutorial video if you can about the uh, fold-out steps for the quantum. But yeah, um, I guess that's all for now. Till next time, peace.